Sony is back at CES with another 4K projector from its LifeSpace UX group. Last year we saw a pretty expensive projector from Sony and this one is even more expensive at $30,000. The whole idea behind this projector is that it looks like a fashionable piece of furniture. It has a marble top, stainless steel legs, and a nice wooden shelf on the bottom. It actually looks like a very nice coffee table, but it's actually meant to sit about 9.6 inches away from the wall, and that projects a 120-inch 4K image on your wall. It's also a pretty self-contained sound bar as well. Its glass legs actually serve as tweeters, and there are also several other speakers inside to give you basically room enveloping sound from the single box. We saw a couple demos of the projector here at CES, and the room wasn't very dark, so we didn't really get to see it. its full power, but it looked pretty clear from what I saw. Uh, the image was pretty large. We saw a couple different things. We saw trailers for movies, we saw some ads. Generally, it just looked good. So this projector supports HDR10. Unfortunately, it doesn't support Dolby Vision, which is kind of a shame for something this expensive. Clearly, this is a very aspirational, high-end lifestyle device. I've seen much cheaper projectors that look much better than this one, but as an all-in-one design with decent sound and a short-throw projector that doesn't have to sit too far away from your wall, it's pretty impressive. And since it's a laser projector, you don't have to worry about bulbs or anything, it should have a very long lifespan. Basically, this projector seems to exist just to show what Sony can do on a really high-end machine. I can't imagine who'd really want to buy this thing, especially since you can get uh, much cheaper high-end 4K projectors that look really good, uh, in many cases even better than this. At the very least, it's a good thing that Sony's keeping at this because it can bring the price down over time. I certainly want something like this in my home eventually, but not at $30,000. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news from CES 2018.